I'm accomplishing a lifelong dream, but it's the beginning of another obstacle. You know, I'm gonna have to, you know, do things a certain way, take care of my body now. It's like now I'm a professional athlete, so I have to prepare and live every day as a professional. So you have to hold your own self accountable now. It's like you don't have the people in your ear or sending you texts when to be at this spot or when to be at that spot. You just get a list of what you have to do for that day and it's your job to be on time for it, wake up on time, eat on time, sleep on time. Uh, Deontay brought in usually quicker than a lot of guys did and within his first three weeks made a lot of progress. Every time, as soon as we can put um, a competition to it, I mean, he raises up and he does an amazing job. And like a lot of great competitors that have been through our doors and I've worked with on the college level, there's a certain look that kind of changes in his eyes. And from being with Coach Saban at Michigan State, I also know his football IQ, even though I wasn't in the room. You know, I was expected a little bit more of just because of the background that I came from and just something that I took in my head and I just worked every day to get better. It would be like a, a sharp pain that would go away and it'll come back. It'll go away and it'll come back. And then just like me not paying attention to it. Training one day and I was benching, uh, just like a freak accident happened. Caught the bar and it kind of like went back on my wrist right here and tore a ligament up in this part of my wrist. And I uh, had to have surgery right before the combine, which was devastating because, you know, this combine is something that I worked uh, really hard for. We just kind of felt like the best best thing for him to do was to go ahead and have the surgery now. So that way, if, you know, when he's picked up by a team, that he wouldn't have to sit out, that he would be ready. So the recovery is going according to plan. It's just taking any precautionary reason, like we don't want anything to, to come up again, so we're treating this the right way. You know, I'm, I'm just blessed to be here. You know, I'm grateful to get the combine invite, so whatever comes with that comes with it. Like, I'm excited that I can't even sleep at night. I'm ready for the next thing to come up, the next team to meet with. So. I'm just grateful to be here and uh, thank you for the opportunity. You know, it's a good experience for me just for me being able to advertise myself to the other teams and, you know, just give them a, a picture of who Deontay Thompson really is. Take off the mask and let them see you as a, as a, as a real person. You just you know, you go in there and you be yourself and, you know, just being upfront, being honest with them about every situation and just talking football. I mean, that was, that was good for me. I met with all 32 teams, informal and uh, some formal. So I know there's more things that they liked about me than they didn't like about me. So, you know, it's just, they just liked my game, the way that I competed, the way that I flied around, the way that I was able to break on balls, the um, way that I was able to attack the ball in the air, the way that I was able to be rangy from sideline to sideline. So Shannon Sharp has compared you to Sean Taylor and Ed Reed. I'm sure you've heard about that. Well, those guys are up here, <laughs> and I'm down here trying to get where they're at. Those are the elite safeties of the elite, you know, two of the greatest guys to ever play the position. Um, thankful for the compliment, but I, I got a lot of work to do to get where they're at. That motivation is still there. That drive is still there because he wants so bad to succeed. I probably said like a week after the combine, you know, I was still like coming down off the surgery and then I went back to the doctor and they took the stitches out and I was able to start doing stuff. So I was still able to do lower body, which was very critical. And like, I was just doing like the left side of my upper body, not doing anything with the right side uh, and just going to rehab and rehabbing it every day to get everything back flowing the way it was supposed to. He did come back, he was working hard, really hard, because he felt like he let a lot of people down because he didn't run his 40, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't be able to perform at the combine. See, me personally, I, I focus more so on the footwork and the agility aspect of the game. So with Deontay, we're doing a lot of change of direction, making sure we can back pedal and come off the right foot at all times, whether it's the left foot or right foot, make sure we're comfortable. It's just that nature, make sure we can catch the ball, don't want to leave any money, so yeah. <laughs> Only thing I can focus on right now is pro day and working out for the teams and giving my best impression when I meet with these guys. First day of the draft, I'm going to be at home with my family. You know, we're going to be um, fellowship and partying and having a good time, you know, so just being around family is going to be important for me. 
I'm all over the place right now because every day you have people asking, where do you think it's going to go? Is it going to go here? Is it going to go there? I mean, every day at work, at home, in the grocery stores, everywhere I go and I'm like, you know, I don't know. Just wherever God placed him, that's where he's going to go. I've, I've got tons of vacation days <laughs> saved up, so I don't care where he goes. But he has mentioned uh, the Rams, uh, the, the Chargers. The Texans, yeah, I think. The Eagles. The Eagles. Uh, yeah. Baltimore so, Ravens. Ravens. Whatever team decides to sign sign him in the NFL, it's going to get a kid a real strong character, a uh, kid that has reinforced fortitude now, and I, I I I think that right now the sky's the limit for him. I've been here from just about all the teams, you know, some more than others, but. At the end of the day, like you, you, you never know who's going to draft you, and I've accepted that. You know, I'm mean, just wherever I go, I'm just be ready to play when I touch down. <laughs>